Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video and today we got Toy Biz Marvel Legends Captain Marvel. Continuing with the MODOK series, you know, really just wanted to get MODOK built, honestly, and I'm uh, very stoked to get him built. But uh, as you see, he comes in the typical bubble that you'd normally get with these figures. And everybody from the wave that I've shown before. And you have the bio right there. And if you really need to know his stats, there's his stats. Captain Marvel looking pretty awesome out of the package. And a lot of these Toy Biz figures I'm doing reviews of, I'm aware a lot of these look like turds. Like Toy Biz and their female characters were very, 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 very poor um, sculpt-wise and stuff. But some of these figures are actually pretty awesome. Uh, he does come with the MODOK control panel joystick thingamajig. And he comes with, you know, Captain Marvel comic book. Comic book, guys. Comic books. You get a comic book with the figure. You get a build-a-part uh, build figure, build-a-piece, whatever. Um, and... You get a background. This is the card stock that came with it. It is a horrible looking Star Trek awful image, but it's still an image and it came with a little plastic stand for it to stand on. We were able to get these back in the day for like 10 bucks. 10 bucks for a figure. Now, the stand I have them on didn't come with it. This is just a separate stand, but you got the figure, the build a figure piece, the backdrop, and a comic for $10. All right, so what's the last legend that anybody has bought that has came with that much stuff? It only cost 10 bucks. Toy Biz was doing it right. And they were definitely doing it right with this figure in a lot of ways, but they did drop the ball in quite a few. Let me go ahead and pop this off the stand and bring in Captain Marvel. Now, for a head sculpt, and everything, I mean, amazing. Like, I really like this head sculpt a lot. They even painted the hair up, uh, added some washes to it. Like, stuff that Hasbro's starting to do now. Um, just a really, really cool head sculpt. I love the eyes are painted nice. I don't know if you guys can really see that. Try to make it not blurry. There you go. He has his little butt chin. There's multiple tones on the flesh. Like... Just a really freaking awesome looking Captain Marvel. You know, even the body mold is really nice. He's got butterfly joints. As you can see, it's got the crisp gold star on the chest. Don't know, that's some crazy looking muscle <laughs> sculpture right there. But, you know, he gets really good posability like you would get with your Marvel, uh, your modern Marvel Legends from Hasbro. Um... Full arm rotation, double jointed elbow, um, and then this this like this section's where it starts getting disappointing. It's cool that they sculpted the wrist on there. They didn't have wrist rotation like they do now. They just have the wrist rotation. It's sort of like a forearm rotation right there, and I dislike that as much as I dislike uh, calf swivels and. You know, thigh cut swivels here and stuff like that. But the hand. So you do get a wrist bend. You get some finger bends. So, you know, he's saying hi or, you know, things like that. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a hand. But why do they have the finger bend if when you close it, like, that's what it looks like. That looks horrible. And that's some of the problem with Toy Biz figures is, like, they got these finger bends they just don't look natural and especially when you look at this hand this hand is just it basically has no fingers it's they're like so crunched up i guess it's supposed to be like this if you open it up i mean what is that supposed to be that like how are you supposed to use that so obviously if you close it up it looks sort of like a fist but in that point just sculpted a fist i don't need these little nubs 
to move. So this is the part that I feel Toy Biz dropped the ball on this figure and a lot of their other figures. He does have a really good ab crunch, you know? So, I mean, he this figure has awesome ab crunch, even as a waist rotation. Paint apps, again, are very, very solid on this figure. Crisp lines. You don't have to worry about seeing plastic coming through on the paint. It looks really nice. Legs. Got the ball joints. Can do some crazy splits. You can do it on both ways, but you have to see that little spot right there. You have to basically rotate it and then rotate this part to make it face so you can do the splits. Because you can see how this one is facing this one and this one's facing this way. So basically you just have to rotate those balls there. He does... Uh, get the ability, you know, to do some really good kicks, splits, double jointed knee, uh, that nasty calf swivel that I really, really dislike because you get these nasty chunks that are just not natural. Uh, no ankle pivot, but you do get an ankle bend, and I love toe bends. You know, if they're tight enough, then you can get some really good poses out of the figures themselves. Um... Yeah, I mean, overall, th this figure is really solid. I just wish the hands were fixed. Because this guy, standing with the rest of your Marvel Legends, is going to blend in really well. Because he looks amazing. Actually, he might even stand out because like his face sculpt and the detail in the face and the paint apps, everything, just stand out a lot more than a lot of Marvel Legends done by Hasbro. So there you guys have it. This is my review of... Captain Marvel. This is the Toy Biz Marvel Legends version and a uh, very good version as you can get some really nice poses just you know you're limited with the hands and everything but definitely a solid solid figure. Um, hope you guys like what you saw if you did Add a like, subscribe if you want to see more. You know, comment down below. Tell me what you're liking about these Toy Biz reviews. Give me some feedback of what you guys think. Because I know a lot of viewers probably haven't even touched base or even messed or dabbled with Toy Biz Marvel Legends. So comment down below. Ask some questions. Let me know what you guys think of these, of, of these older figures compared to what Hasbro is pumping out right now. And uh, I want you guys to have the best luck hunting. Keep on collecting. And have a beautiful day.